Hello everybody, my name is Host Game CH and welcome to YouTuber Rambo's episode 22. I am your host and commentator for today, Miguel's Gaming CH and episode 22. I never really counted how many episodes of YouTuber Rambo's we have and 22 is the current count for today's episode and I think that may may just be the most um most I mean, maybe my second most played playlist like most number of videos uh there's uh I'm checking right now there's actually two more there's GTA 4 silent gameplay which at 25 we have mobile gameplays at 100 and all my all gameplay uh, playlist is 300 so I've done a lot of that and then what else do we have let's see COD M that's a separate playlist of its own apparently and other than that yeah this is one of my uh, most viewed uh, most videos uh, in the series so uh, but yeah that's just some quick information so without further ado folks let's start our podcast today like uh, thank you for 400 subscribers um, I have just recently hit 400 subscribers and I would like to thank the people who made it possible and we are as of I'm recording this standing at 410 subscribers and um, yeah it's just amazing that uh, we're able to do this and uh, we are, um, how is it, 45% on the way to 1,000 subscribers. We are just, uh, the next milestone, of course, is 500, and then each of the 100s until we reach 1,000. And to me, 1,000, that's the next goal. And then after that, I don't know what I'll do after 1,000 subscribers. Of course, I'll, I will get my videos monetized and stuff like that, but... Uh, for now, uh, I would just like to thank you all for 400 subscribers. So we are, uh, we are further ado. Um, we're gonna actually bring into a sad announcement: the last Roblox video. That is right, the last Roblox video. I am announcing this because I no longer think it fits into my channel. I no longer play Roblox uh, for fun. Maybe when I'm bored, I do play Roblox, but uh, you should just revert to games like GTA 4 or American Truck Simulator for those types of games. And over the past few years, and now, uh, I no longer play Roblox. Uh, I'm no longer a regular member. Uh, I no longer get updates about the news. I really don't care about the drama. Uh, we'll be talking about the Koneko Kitten situation later in this podcast, but... Uh, I, I no longer have anything to do with Roblox at this point other than my avatar being one of the iconic and some uh, as my profile picture but I'm going to be announcing the dates for the last I think four Roblox videos I'll be making on this channel so without further ado let's start off so so on since this video is going to be published on November 25th the next Roblox video is going to be at November 27, uh, approximately 7 a.m., maybe 10.45 p.m. It's based on that. And then the next one after that is November 30, the last day of uh, November. And then I'm going to have a early Roblox Christmas special on December 6. And it's going to be the last Roblox Christmas video slash special uh, I will be doing uh, in this channel and the last final roblox video has been decided for december 11 and after that it it's done i i will no longer make roblox content i will not delete my roblox account uh if that's what you're going to be worried about no i will not delete my roblox account because i've already uh, I, I just want it to be archived if you want to see it it's there okay but I I I, re I think it's the end after that, and I I am going to be deciding whether or not because on my channel, uh, the full channel name is Miguel's Games H Gameplays Roblox, and I'm pretty sure it's more, uh, if I'm correct. 
um, yeah, yes it is, and, uh, I might start i might remove the roblox name out of that and also in the banner i'll probably remove the roblox banner there in the channel banner section and uh and that that, that is just going to be it it's quick and simple just like that there won't be i guess the final roblox video there will be some sort of celebration but after that it, it's gone so uh, that is my plan and if you're wondering why i'm doing this again i no longer want to be involved in the roblox community i don't really give about the Roblox community. It's been going downhill since. I will miss Roblox, yes, but I think moving on is the correct option for me. And if you want to watch some great Roblox YouTubers, please watch the great U Roblox YouTubers and not any of the cringe uh, YouTubers with dramas with them, with uh, just stupid, lazy content. Just don't watch the ones where there's actually good YouTubers like Albert Flamingo. Dennis, if, if you're still into OG YouTubers, go go watch Dennis. It's just, uh, yeah. So, okay, I'm gonna end it here. I no longer have any words to say. So, moving on. We are moving on to my Counter-Strike 2 uh, opinions. And porting my CSGO maps to CS2. So, we'll start about my Counter-Strike 2 opinions. I haven't really played... I, I really haven't played Counter-Strike uh, that much over uh, this month especially when Counter-Strike 2 released uh, I've been trying to get my Premier rank and I still haven't gotten my Premier rank it's, I only got 4 wins on Premier uh, those were good matches but most of the time I've lost I think that's 8, 9 matches I've already lost uh, that's just an estimation but I think Counter Strikes 2, it still needs to be fixed. They better fix it right before uh, the major, the next CS2 major, which is going to be uh, Copenhagen major in like uh, in 2024, early 2024 in January, uh, May, May. It's a May major, so yeah. And I really, I think it could be a good game because. We all remember CSGO beta used to be shit and yet here we are with CSGO in present times. It's good, it's better, and that's what I could think with CS2. I think it could also be improved uh, over its lifespan. So yes. And uh, porting my CSGO maps to CS2, I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I, I have downloaded the workshop CS2 workshop uh, tools that includes the Hammer 2 editor, but I haven't really tried it and I'll probably need to watch a YouTube tutorial on how to do that to port my CSGO maps and if you're wondering what my CSGO maps are what the fuck I'm talking about you can go check out my website God damn, I don't even remember my own website link migosgamingsage.canva.my.canva.site so that's migosgamingsage.canva.my.canva.site that's not right. Hold on, folks. Sorry. Uh, there seems to be something wrong with the link. Sorry. It's miguelskimsage.my.canva.site. So just my Canva site. And then each one, uh, each space is replaced with a dot. And that's my website. You can click on the Game Banana or um, uh, Steam Workshop to see all of my CSGO maps. And I am trying to... I am planning on uh, some of my popular maps. I, I am planning on, uh, and really, my I only am proud of one CS map that I've made, and that's the randomized diffuser. Cause that one, it reached the the uh, the top. The what do you call that in Steam Workshop in CS2? Um, you know, I'm checking right now. Actually, it's the top mo of monthly. I think. Oh, there you go. Most popular maps in the past week. It was there for like two weeks, two to three, three weeks, and I was really proud of that because everyone could see because it was on the front page technically if they just had to press the, uh, if they had to scroll all the way to the left side because it was a left side, uh, meaning it was uh, the last out of the top five, I think it is here. Yeah, top last out of the top five list of most popular maps on the week. And uh, yeah, it got fairly decent amount of subscription, but it had many problems, and I'm trying to do that. 
but I'm also focusing on a lot of stuff, not just uh, YouTube, but also my game development, uh, RGB software. I've also announced a. Uh, actually, do we have a segment on RGB software? Yes, we do. Okay, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about Stick Guy Dice later. Uh, but yes, and then there's also school, so you know me. So that's going to be it for now. All about the Counter Strike 2 opinions. Now let's move on to a new topic. New waveform visualizer in my videos. Uh, if you've been watching my videos recently, you will see at the bottom uh, left corner of your screen, if you're watching my videos, there's a new waveform visualizer videos. And I think it's a nice, quite addition. And it, uh, I've added an opacity, I've lowered its opacity so it can somewhat see through um, video. So you can still see if there's informa important information on the bottom right. You can see some of it while seeing the visualizer. And it, it just looks cool actually. What, what I've done here, it looks very, very cool. Because uh, yeah, it, it's very, very cool. And then, um, because I don't really use face cam that much often anyways. So, yeah. I don't really use face cam that often. I have reviewed my face before for those who are wondering. And if you've been watching my uh, Burnout Paradise, you probably, uh, Burnout Paradise series, you've probably seen my face. So, yeah, but it's a simple addition. Uh, if you guys hate it, you can just comment below and I might remove it in the future. If you love it, then I'll keep it and uh, for the rest of my life. I've also added a uh, website, uh, my website link, also in uh, Opacity50 on my videos so people can see my uh, website so yeah all right so okay we're moving into a deep topic here um the Koneko kitten situation i don't know why this is here i don't really know uh which side and i am currently as of this moment not taking sides of whether or not um, it's Narpy or uh, it's it, whether it's Narpy or it's uh, Koneko Kittens folk, whichever. Uh, and if you don't know what's going on, you can watch a there's a documentary video on that. And I actually, for those who have watched uh, before Koneko Kitten deleted his YouTube channel his uh the full the background video he made uh i did watch that and it was weird but he did delete his own channel he did he did just re delete his own channel and this is really sad just like every youtuber now is starting to get um some accusations, some exposure. Uh, everybody is just uh, the drama, you know. Every YouTuber keep, keeps getting drama, and I had my own drama, but that was private. And if and if it was a public drama that I did on this channel, it would probably be a uh, would probably be short, like what I did with the guy who accused me of uh, being a scammer. If you remember that, of course. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. The, the video that I watched, the bigger picture, the, the, it was the one that Koneko, uh, no, down, not made, yes, made. Uh, but yeah, and I, my final decision, I would say, like, so I think both of Narp, both Narpy and Koneko Kitten are, uh, I believe they're both horrible because um, you can just watch uh, both sides of the drama and also uh, some uh, fan documentaries about the drama itself and their opinion on it because my opinion is limited because I've been watching Koneko Kitten for years yes but I'm no longer in uh, I haven't even watched a Koneko Kitten video in a long time actually probably in 2021 2022 when the last time i watched a koneko kitten video uh, so yeah that's my current stand on the drum 
So without further ado, let's move on to Stick Guide Dice Release. Uh, I will uh, instead link you to a uh, H.io uh, blog post that I made on this game. And uh, you should see uh, the dev log. It's in the, this, uh, link in the description below. Basically, the release has been delayed. Uh, I, I will read you. Uh, if you're lazy to go to the link, I will read this to you. The blog post that I made 13 hours ago as I'm recording this uh, podcast. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, folks. A quick and short dev blog from Migos Kim CH here. I originally estimated I would have completed and released the full version by November 13, the last day of November. But based on the progress that I have made so far and the time that I have that I have while trying to do school and YouTube, it is not estimated we will release the full version in late December 2023 or January of 2024. Between the two of these, realistically, January 2024. Or maybe even later in 2024. And we apologize for this. The year is coming to an end and time goes fast. This will also delay further development of games in the RGB software collection as well as the development of new original RGB software games. But you guys will probably want a fix and working the uh, fix and working delayed game instead of a rushed buggy game. Please trust me as I will guarantee a full working game with all of the features mentioned on the game's homepage as well. As well as maybe additional features if I have time. As of writing, I am stuck on how the hell do I do do I do the secret ending so I'll have to work on that first I also have to do the three new deaths so a lot of work but just like one man said it does not matter how slowly you go so long as you don't stop definitely did not copy this from some website because you MCH RGB so so that's the full devlog uh, I'm no longer gonna add any more comments you can if you want to read it on yourself without me listening if you hate my mic uh, the devlog link is in the description uh, below so uh, yeah so we go further ado let's move on to the uh, next topic on the podcast where is it there it is um, RGB software and other uh, RGB software other games uh, is a uh, weird coffee this was ma- this uh, text file was made the uh, few months a uh, few days earlier so um so as mentioned in the previous devlog it will delay the uh, made of making of original rgb software games and uh, i actually currently in my desktop i have unreal engine 5 installed but i actually haven't opened it yet nor have i tried it yet because i don't really have that much time um but basically uh i no longer want to use wick editor for my original games and I really do want to make original games, but like properly made, of course. So I, I would say maybe in like uh, Unreal Engine 5, uh, that was my original thought. But I could also probably try uh, game engines like Godot or maybe... Uh, look, I was going to go for Unity, but we all know what happened with Unity and all of the drama that there has been. And everybody is just not going for Unity engine anymore and moving to other engines like Unreal and yada 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 so uh yeah we either have to choose between Unreal Engine 5 or Goda that is our current statement but as you can as uh, we all know again from the last devlog this might be delayed uh, a lot so that's my quick opinion on that okay we're moving on to uh to our last two topics here so we're starting off with Smosh food battle reactions. Ah, okay. No. Just because I'm a Gen Z kid doesn't mean I'm not a Smosh fan. Okay. I love Smosh, especially when I was five years old. So somewhere in 2015, 2016, I was rewatching their old uh, Smosh battle, uh, Smosh food battle 2011, 2012 videos, uh, and I really love these videos very much. I remember when I first watched them, and it was very funny and i definitely did not know all of the pg-13 references they put in there uh, at the time but now i do like the uh, tampons uh, the meme i think that was on food battle 2014 and then like the uh, the, uh, the other dirty side and then the i, I really I'm, I'm gonna I, who does who did it 
all of you clicked on the food battle videos because there was a bikini woman on the video uh, on the thumbnail don't you fucking lie to me all right you did not watch because of the food battle you watched because you wanted to see that bikini woman and, and the thirst trap woman you know and they always uh, put it uh, always on their food battle videos uh, which is very funny uh, i would say so it, it is very funny uh, so uh, if you haven't known there is now food battle 2023 and i believe it's it's better than all of the uh, all of the previous food battles combined and they really just recreated uh, the the classic smosh what smosh uh, right uh, present smosh has done and uh, I would like to say thank uh, good job to the production team and of course Anthony and Ian uh, for making those videos so I think that was a great 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 stuff so and our last topic for today is um, my thoughts on GTA 5 and GTA 6 oh boy okay so um GTA 5 I'm currently playing right now it's uh I have a playthrough series and as I'm recording we have we have just finished the uh the jewelry store heist and the next episode that I'm going to have to do is going to be me of course uh, getting Trevor and doing the Trevor missions and of course going to Los Santos to did somebody say yoga? it sucks that I all know these references because I've watched GTA 5 over the years and now I'm just only getting to playing it myself and I already know all of the missions and the references it I wish I shouldn't have known and it would just be like my first time playing it uh, a blind playthrough basically uh, but no my playthrough that I'm doing is not blind. I know some lore. I know some facts. I know some missions. I know some. I know all of the characters, of course, uh, except for some uh, bonus extra slash uh, char characters that are important story. Uh, but yes. So that's my opinion. Uh, my thoughts on GTA 5. On GTA 6, however, now that's a different story. Uh, if you if you don't know, they are planning on releasing the next uh, tra the trailer for the next GTA game. Uh, this December and I'm really excited to see that and it's probably going to be the most vi viewed video on YouTube within 24 hours beating Mr. Beast probably uh, I would say so um, uh, I don't really have any thoughts about GTA 6 I just I need to finish I haven't even finished GTA 4 as I'm currently making this video I'm trying to also finish that at the same time with GTA 5 but I've been focusing more on GTA 5 because of YouTube uh, but I think uh, once I finish GTA 4 and GTA 5, then I'll deal with what the hell is going to go with uh, GTA 6 for me. So there you go, folks. That is uh, that is everything uh, tonight on today's YouTuber Rambo's episode. I want to thank everybody again for 400 subscribers. And I'm going to end the episode here by saying... Amigos, we love you, brother. I don't know what the hell I just said. It's probably racist, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching today's YouTuber Rambles Podcast, and I'll see you in the next one.